Hello everybody, it's me Magic Keys, and I'm going to respond to my thoughts and my opinion on the Eugenia Cooney cooking video with her mother. Now, we're, gonna, we're just going to ignore the fact that I look terrible, and we're just going to dive right into my thoughts and my opinions on things, and what I think of this video. So, the first thing I want to say is, hair on my face. Besides that, the first thing I want to say is I am really proud of Eugenia for being able to talk about food and showing food and touching food in that video. Like, with someone that used to have an eating disorder, that, that's very impressive that she was able to do that. And I could tell it made her uncomfortable. And I hope that that's a right step in the right direction. Because, you know, that's amazing that she's able to touch food, um, that she's able to, you know, interact with food and ma make a full whole ass video about that, like, wow, like, that, that definitely shocked me, and I really like the fact that her mother was encouraging her to cook and being like, you, you're doing a wonderful job and all that stuff, like, that's really good, but... There's another side of me that, that, that is a lot of progress, but here's the other thing. So, if you don't know me, I used to be anorexic. Not very severe, not as severe, obviously. But, I know that with an eating disorder, someone's willing to talk about food and eat food, even even eat food in front of someone if it means that they can protect their eating disorder. And that's what I believe Eugenia Cooney is doing with her video. Because, like I said, if she wants to- if she's seeing this as a step- if she's willing to take this step in the right direction to interact with food, and I really like that she's trying to learn a new skill, like, that's really cool too. But, I really question her motives and it's really still concerning. And before everyone goes and celebrates the fact that she's interacting with food, I just want to say all this. And I want to be wrong about it, I want, I want her to take a step in the right direction, but this is just my thoughts, my opinions on it. You can comment down below what you think as well, and um, let's leave a nice comments about Eugenia, let's say things like we're proud of her for showing food and stuff, but I just want to put out my concerns with this video, because there's a few things in that video that's very... <laughs> and with someone that used to have an eating disorder, I think I still have disordered eating, but I don't have an eating disorder anymore. Yay for that. I love chicken. I've I've learned how to eat chicken for like the past year and a half now. And because I never really had chicken before. And um what was I saying about that? And the first few times I ate chicken, I had a breakdown, because it's like <laughs> not Meat, very high fear food for anyone with an eating disorder, I'm just gonna say that. But anyway, um, someone with an eating disorder is willing to eat in front of someone, so it's like, sacrifice for the long run. So, it's, like, for example, if you have a friend with an eating disorder, and you come up to the concerns, they might just eat in front of you, and try to calm down their worries, or they might talk about food, or they'll be like, what do you mean, I love pizza, or whatever like that. Gosh, it looked terrible. Ignore that. <laughs> but anyways, they're they are willing to do that. And there's the fact that there's a lot of concerns against the mother. If you haven't seen Jacqueline Glenn's video, you should watch it. And even Jacqueline probably doesn't even know the full story or how bad it really is. There's still a whole of a lot there, and I trust Jacqueline. It's just so weird to see your mother now, like, encouraging cooking and all that. And it just feels like, because she reads the subreddit, the r slash Eugenia Cody subreddit, and she sees the comments and stuff. So she's probably like, okay, I'm going to make this video of me cooking my mom to disprove both claims. And then she's just going to continue becoming more emaciated. That's, that's the right way to say it. Because... She 
is not looking well. Um, I've I've taken screenshots of her in the subreddit where her her neck, like you could literally see her. What's this called again? It starts with a T. You can see her bones sticking out in her neck. You can see the veins down her arm. Like, you can see my veins on my wrist, but it's like all the way up her arm, like all the way up here. That's not a good way to show Like all the way up here and stuff. Like, you can see your veins. Her legs are always scary and stuff like that. And it's like, this is not a good sign. And plus she said that she's fully recovered in a live stream clip. If you haven't seen that, you should look up Eugenia Cooney, fully recovered. There's a clip of her staying live, like, guys, I'm fine, I'm fully recovered from last year, and it's like, fully recovered from the 50, from being forced into treatment, maybe, but she's not fully recovered. And even me with an eating disorder, not as serious as her, it took me, like, way more than a year and way more self-focus and all that stuff to get over something like that. But anyway, um, it's really hard to think. I, I should really write a script for these, but effort in the content? Never. Never. And, um, what was I gonna say? Okay, so this feels like a video to be like, see look, I'm talking about food, I'm not avoiding things, but there's also, there's a lot of things that she's still avoiding. She has her moderators, those scumbags, she has them delete any kind of concerned comments or lets them attack people that are concerned in her Twitch comments during her live stream. And she has just, she's, she said, cause I, someone made a joke that was like, oh, make drinking water, like, a point reward thing, because if you don't know on Twitch, there's these things where you can claim a reward, like, Eugenia Dab, or, or it highlights your message, or, um, end my stream, she has one that's called end my stream, it's our, like, six, six, six thousand, or something like that, and she has one that's, like, I'll bring Buzz on, or, um, I don't, I don't remember all the points, but I'm, but somebody said as a joke about that, and then she went on to go, I'll get water poisoning, or, or everyone in her chat was like, oh, she get water poisoning if she do that, and it'd be like, you have to drink, like, I think it's two gallons of water, two gallons of water to get water poisoning, and it has to be, like, all at once or something like that. It's like six liters, six liters, and you have to like drink it like all at once. And it's like, she claims like, I'm not gonna drink water that much because I'm gonna get water poisoning. And it's like, really? And when she does drink water, like if someone's like, hey Eugenia, you should drink a bit of water. She takes like a sip in like her six hour live stream. She takes like one sip. And even that's questionable because I don't know if she actually drinks it, but I'm not gonna accuse her of not drinking it. She probably drinks it, but it doesn't really seem like she drinks it, but... It's only like a sip. And then she's like, see guys, I'm fine, I'm staying hydrated. And it's like... Mm, I know most Twitch streamers, because I watch a lot I watch a lot of Twitch. But they usually, if they're streaming for like a long time, they take like a few breaks, like a five minute break. They have bots in the chat saying hydration and they take like a few gulps of water. And it's like, it's like a thing. Like if you're streaming for a long time, that's what you do. But she drinks... One tiny little sip, when one person says it, and then it's like, yeah guys, I'm fine, like, after that. So that, that's how I feel about that. So she's avoiding a lot of things, and then she just feels like another sip of water or something like that on stream. Like, see guys, I'm fine, I'm okay, you know? And she, she says she's fully recovered. It's clipped. Not clipped by me, but I've also clipped some concerning things as well. Um... Some people accuse me of being obsessed because I watch and document all of this stuff, but I'm just trying to... What am I trying to do? I'm trying to keep concerns up, and I'm trying to also hold her accountable for putting young fans at risk, the predators in her community. But anyway, this is this video is going to be forever, I swear. I'm sorry that I had to sit here and watch me ramble.
because I'm really bad at speaking and I'm really nervous for some reason and I look like I look like this so it's not any better but anyways what else I want to say is it's also really concerning that she she acts like she's never been in the kitchen before and that's really questionable because it's like okay then because she because I feel like sometimes she's acting like she like plays dumb or whatever but she said in her video like um oh is this the oven like she doesn't know it's the oven and that's probably like a little like you know playing acting and all that which I totally get it's just like super odd and I don't want to say oh she doesn't know what an oven is because it's probably just her acting but it's still just very weird and the fact that it's like she said like the mom said like oh this is gonna take like an hour and was it like 45 minutes an hour and 45 minutes to make this chicken and she's like what I thought it would last 10 minutes and it's like it's like it's like a, as if she never waited for food as a child like you know growing up it's like oh mom started cooking dinner now and it's gonna be in an hour and 45 minutes it's like she avoids the kitchen it doesn't know just like how long it takes or like her mom's never been like oh yeah I'm gonna cook right now and then like having to wait so long for the food or whatever like maybe not knowing down the exact time because I don't know how long it takes my mom to make everything but it's like most food takes like an hour to make if she starts cooking at six o'clock I expect dinner at seven you know like that's just that's just how it is and it's weird that it's like she has like zero cooking experience because I know I'm behind on learning how to cook and maybe maybe this is not normal but I'm pretty sure it's normal to at least like do, like bake some cookies with grandma or like bake cupcakes with grandma or help your mom make craft macaroni and cheese by you know stirring the pot a little bit <laughs> stirring the pot I find that phrase funny um or pouring the cheese in or like just like standing there and pretending to help or whatever like that's to me, that's normal. Full on cooking, maybe not to learn like that, but I feel like she should at least know somewhat more. Or the fact that she was never taught until now, it's just really strange. Or she didn't know the family recipe until now, it's just really concerning considering everything. Because she's probably had an eating sweat for a very long time. But I'm starting to question if she's always had one. Maybe not the same way, because, you know, I've had disordered eating my entire life. I had anorexia for four years? Three years? I don't know. But I wasn't- I didn't have full-on anorexia my entire life. My- <clears throat> I didn't have full-on anorexia my entire life, but I've had disordered eating. So it's like, she's never been in checked for so long, and it was- she's never cooked with her family- or her mom. I think her mom cooks. I'm not gonna assume her mom cooks, but she's never cooked with her mom or dad or a little baking session with grandma or something like that. And it's like really weird that it seems like she's has a struggle with food for such a very long time and no one's helped her. And she didn't get help until Jacqueline Glenn. Like, it's just super weird to me. And I'm really concerned and I know people are gonna celebrate this food thing and yes, I agree. It's a great, amazing step. Like, it's awesome. If it's actually a step, you know? Because I feel like this is just another thing where she sips water. Or, um, what does she do that one time? She does something this one time. Where it was like... Like, trying to disprove things or stuff like that. Or, or she'll be, you know, she'll, she'll do this thing where it's like she avoids it for so long. But then she'll, like, pop off and be like, okay... You see here guys I'm fine or something like that like she does that a lot and this is just another instance of that I think I hope I have a lot of hope you know because I'm like in my head I'm like this is amazing this is great but then it, there's just like a feeling of dread like right after like this is not really this is like a mirage I don't know that's the right term phrase but this is like a mirage where something appears to be there, but the more closer you try to step towards it, the more it moves away, and then the more you realize it's fake. You know, like this is just another 
instance of, you know, everything's okay, look guys, I'm fine, see, I, I, I cooked the chicken, shut up, you know, like, cause she'll do anything to protect your ED, and I did everything I could to protect my ED, and there may be a bit of projection on this, but this is just my opinion, I am still really proud of her for being able to touch food or show it and cook, and I'm glad she's trying new skills. I hope she does an art video. I really want her to do an art video because her wanting to poo, really good, considering that she doesn't really draw and she used gel pens. But I really want her to do an art video and I want her to learn new skills besides wearing clothes and putting on makeup and stuff like that. Like, I applaud it. It's great. It's amazing. I had to pause right now, but I'm holding the camera, so I can't really do that. But anyways, it just feels like I never shut up. I'm fine, even though she's getting worse and worse. If you look from her first, her first video back, I think it was new outfit, new clothes. I don't know the exact title, but it's something like that where she showed an outfit and she, she didn't look quite. And I, was, I don't want to use triggering language because it's really hard not to use triggering language when you're describing this. It, it's it's really hard not to, and I don't want to trigger her. Believe it or not, even though I'm obsessed. And I make all these posts on the Reddit and stuff, but I still, at the end of the day, don't wish her any harm. I just have my own opinions on things. And I hope I'm wrong about it. I really do hope I'm wrong. Like, this is not something that I'm like, oh, look, I'm right all the time. Like, I don't want to be right. I want her to prove me wrong. But it's like, um, <laughs> I'm losing my train of thought. This is really not going good. No one's going to watch this. But, <laughs> but anyways, um, Eugenia, Eugenia, um, I really just want her to do well, but this is just another fake sign, and it's just another, like, fantasies, so she'd be, look guys, like, hook chicken, and then she's gonna continue becoming worse and worse, and then she'll be, a uh, Back at Kyrie, and um, yeah, that's what's gonna happen. Cause oh, I remember what I was saying. Her video where she changed like when her first kind of outfit video. It wasn't really an outfit video, but she like got her hair done by Edward, and then did like a makeup style. Like she had the flowers in her hair, and she wore this outfit, and she showed the outfit, and you you can take that. And you can look at now with the live stream where she has her her neck bone sticking out and she just looks so much worse and so gray and it's just really scary if you really think about it like i uh <laughs> okay it's fine it's fine don't get upset about this okay 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 <sighs> Because we all really hoped well for her. And I I do want her to be well. I hope this is step in the right direction. But the fact that she's not seeing a therapist. She said that in a clip too. Um, that she says she's fully recovered. And now this is like the whole water thing. And the F you thing. It's hard to see this as a step of progress for her to show food. When it just feels like I never ED lie. Because... Everyone with an eating disorder, they're not liars, but they lie to protect their ED. Because I did that, you know. I would eat in front of my mother to show that I'm okay. And I think this is just another kind of thing. The same, she's, she's just doing that again, where it's like, see guys, I'm fine. I eat food. I cooked food. Look. And I'm proud of her still. And I really hope that she goes back to treatment. I don't think the internet's good for her, but, um, yeah. So I'm still proud, and I'm still really stoked, like, oh my god, she showed food, and, you know, made this video, and I must have been extremely uncomfortable for her, and, like, learning a new skill, like, it's great, it's amazing, it's just, don't, don't celebrate yet, and be careful, and keep an eye on her still, like, this is not anything yet. It's just, right now, it just seems like a, a, si a trying to silence people more, or be like, trying to convince people she's fine when she's not okay. 
Oh, another thing too. I didn't. I didn't clip this. Well, I did clip it. Kind of, maybe. Um, she so made a clip for at our Twitch stream. She said she used the same thing again, where she was like, "Yeah, guys, I'm like just naturally the size." She legit said on a stream like a few days ago, like, "Oh yeah, guys, like I'm this, I'm naturally skinny." And it's, it just sounds like the exact same thing she was saying in the past, except for a few more little words about how she's doing better. But other than that, she still used the, I'm naturally thin, our people's bodies are different. And I never said my body was healthy, but it's my body and I'm just naturally this way. And it was just, we cannot celebrate this yet. And I want to be proud of her. I want to cheer this on. And I was at first really stoked about it, but then I thought about it a little more and it was like, Mmm, mm, no, this, this not, this not, this is not what it looks to be. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Yeah, you, know, you can go and leave a little hate comment down below what you think. <laughs> and um, yeah, I've rambled long enough. This is kind of an event, maybe. I don't know. So if you like, comment, subscribe. I love reading comments, and I just want to say like. I guess at the end of this. Thank you guys for getting me to 100 subs. Because I was not expecting that, honestly. Like, I just uploaded a clip of Eugenia, like, and it got, like, 50k views. And that's really scary <laughs> to get that many views. Or that many people coming to my channel. Because, you know, I'm not... I may look like a Eugenia Creative channel. Well, I'm, I'm not a Eugenia Creative channel. But, so I hope these people won't get disappointed in me and they, like, continue sticking around and stuff. But... I'm more than just a Eugene Cooney channel. I just make videos about what I'm passionate about, and I'm really passionate about Eugene Cooney because I've been following her for like five years, four years, something like that. And I used to be one of like the inner fans or whatever until I became a bully that was concerned for her. But <laughs> um, yeah, so that that's that's what I think and feel about all that. So thank you guys for subbing and watching my videos, and I hope to post more soon. It just, I just want to say that I'm only a Eugene Akuni channel right now, but I don't mean to be a forever Eugene Akuni channel, and I'm worried that people think I'm like obsessive or something, because in a way maybe, but it's just... I'm just documenting things, and I'm just speaking what I feel and all that stuff, and it's like, I don't want people to think I'm crazy or something like that, but yeah. Thank you guys for subbing. Sorry for rambling and making this video so long, but I really appreciate it. I've never been 100 subs before. I've never had as many views, not that I care for clout. I've never done this for clout. At least these Eugene Akuna videos, I've never done it for clout. I mean, I want... I want people to watch my content and follow me and stuff, but, you know, it's just, <laughs> it's really weird that this is what people are watching, and it's like, well, I kind of feel like I have to make stuff like this, but, um, I'm not a YouTube creator, you know, it's just, I make stuff about what I want to talk about, and she's one of the people that I care about, and she's one of the people that, like I said, I think that she needs accountability and stuff, but, Thank you for subbing. Leave a little comment down below. I've already said this like 50 million times. With your opinions on it. And make sure to be nice to Eugenia down there. And subscribe. And leave a dislike. Because I love those. But anyways. Noodles. <laughs>